Now coming to the themes of this poem, canonization. One of the themes of this poem is canonization. You know, canonization is a Christianing way of raising the status of men. Now, this is an important theme of this poem, but it's not a religious practice which is invoked here in this poem. John, John Dunn says that we would be canonized for our love, not for our piousness, not for our religious deeds, not for our religious understanding, but we would be canonized for what? For love. Though we will not prove any chronicle, we would prove only, we will make pretty rooms only in sonnets, but those sonnets will not be love sonnets, but they would be hymns. And then people will approve us to be canonized for love. And then we would be, uh, you know, raised to such a status that is one of the themes of this poem the other theme of this poem would be love now love is a very common theme of the poetry of john dunn and this poem is no exception and uh, uh, this theme here uh, finds you know very conventional uh, very uh, conventional or traditional representation wo mohabbat jisko jisse logon ko aitraaz hota hai society ko aitraaz hota hai dost rishtedaron ko aitraaz ho wo mohabbat jo badi mushkil se parwan chadhti hai us mohabbat ka zikr jo hai john dunn is poem mein karta that is the theme of this poem where you know a lover is rebuked his beloved is rebuked his acts are rebuked हर कोई उसको ताने मारता है दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ थीम एट द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ लव दैट जॉन डन डील्स विद इन दिस पोएम एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थीम ऑफ दिस पोएम वी टूम्स नाउ इट हैज बीन अ ट्रेडिशनल प्रैक्टिस अमंग ह्यूमन सोसाइटी टू बिल्ड टूम्स फॉर पायस मैन बट सिंस जॉन डन इज अ मेटाफिजिकल पोइट सो वॉट ही सेज ही सेज द टूम्स वुड बी मेड नॉट फॉर पायस अ रिलीजियस मैन बट फॉर देम for him and for his beloved for the lovers tombs will be built and people who write hymns the sonnets which would, would be written for them they would be the hymns of theirs and people would invoke them in future these were some important themes of the poem canonization